and today we will be taking a look at the Broadway musical of Beauty and the Beast. It's a Disney stage musical with music by Alan Menken, lyrics by Howard Ashman and Tim Rice, and a book by Linda Wolverton, and adapted from Walt Disney Pictures Academy award-winning 1991 animated musical film of the same name, which in turn had been based on the classic French fairy tale by Jean Marie Le Prince de Beaumont. Beauty and the Beast for, tells the story of a young prince who lives in a castle who was turned into a beast by an enchantress because of how selfish he was. And um, critics who hailed the film as one of the year's finest musicals instantly noted its Broadway musical potential when it was first released in 1991, encouraging Disney CEO Michael Eisner to venture into Broadway. And all the songs from the animated film were reused in the musical, including an original musical number, which had been cut from the motion picture. And original songwriter Alan Menken composed six new songs for the production, alongside lyricist Tim Rice replacing Ashman, who unfortunately uh, passed away during the production of the film. Yep, and Alan Menken and the late great Howard Ashman had worked together in the past with another Broadway musical, Little Shop of Horrors. Wolverton, who was writing the film's screenplay, adopted her own work into the musical's libretto. Um, a libretto um, is the musical score, the book um, from where you learn the music, and specifically expanded upon the characterization of the beast. Wolverton expanded the storylines of the castle staff from servants who had already have been transferred into household objects into humans who were gradually turning into inanimate objects. Which I think is a really good addition to the story. A very good addition. And costumes were designed by Anne Hold Ward, who based her creations on both the animator's original designs as well as the Rococo art movement after researching how clothing and household objects looked during the 18th century, which I found really interesting as a comparison to clothing and household objects, you know, back then, which were very different from now. Which is very yeah. fascinating. Beauty and the Beast uh, premiered on Broadway on April 18th, 1994, starring Susan Egan and Terrence Mann as Belle and Beast, respectively. Six new songs up for the stage show include Home, If I Can't Love Her, which is ancient, another really good song, Human Again, which was cut from the original movie, and there's also Maison de Lunes. Mm -hmm. That was sung um, in the tavern with Gaston and uh, LeFou. And the musical opened to mixed reviews from theater critics but was a massive commercial success and well received by audiences and it also ran on broadway for 5000 mind you 5461 performances for 13 years from 1994 to 2007 becoming broadway's 10th longest running production in history wow that is a long time Mm -hmm. And a lot of performances. It's very impressive. Beauty and the Beast was nominated for was nominated for Best Musical at the Tony Awards, but lost to a to a musical called Passion, which kind of followed the same concept as Beauty and the Beast. And it has grossed more than one point seven billion dollars worldwide and played in thirteen countries and one hundred and fifteen cities. And it has also become a choice for junior, amateur, and high school productions. When I was a sophomore in 2006, they did Beauty and the Beast, and I did Stage Crew for it. And then in 2019, cast um, Clinton Area Stage Troupe, a summer uh, theater group, um, for all ages, did Beauty and the Beast. So um, I've had a lot of experience uh, with that. And I was also in Clinton area, the uh, Beauty and the Beast for Clinton area stage troupe. When I was in stage crew, I was learning, you know, like, like not only the people's lines, but like um, where everything went and how to move everything on and off. And so just from watching it, um, uh, I was able to be in Beauty and the Beast because you can learn just by watching and observing. 
and, um, like, after Beauty and the Beast was done in 2006, when I was, you know, doing stage crew, I was upset for a whole week because I didn't want it to be over, so, um, that, I mean, that's, that's how much I, I loved it, you know, it's, it's um, it's a big cast, there's a lot of characters, and for Clinton Era's stage group in 2019, um, we had a cast of over 60 people, so... That was the biggest cast that um, I personally had been in, probably bigger than the ones that I was in for high school. So um, you can see how challenging and hard this is production-wise because of how big the cast can be. One of the hardest parts in like, the Gaston scene is the like the beer mug thing because you're like in this big line and you're like clink the people are holding beer mugs and you have to clink like this and cross over like that and it's <laughs> it's, it's probably one of the hardest scenes like that I've seen in a musical so um it was very impressive once you get it and and nail it it's amazing yep some of my favorite musical numbers in in Beauty and the Beast were BR were Gaston, Belle, Be Our Guest, Human Again. The mob song was, was really cool. Oh yeah, and uh, some of my favorite musical numbers include Belle, Be Our Guest, Human Again, Gaston. One song that I really like that wasn't in the original Disney movie um, is called Me, where it's like Gaston is kind of singing like about himself, but um, you know, it's just, a, it's a fun song. Um, uh, at the end, I think, is one of, like, the more emotional parts of this musical, like, when all the actors kind of gather on stage for the final scene musical number act. It's just really powerful and emotional. Um, I kind of, I feel like this, uh, Broadway show in particular, um, really lights up and animates the stage with musical numbers such as Belle, Be Our Guest, Humor, and Again, because they're full of energy. Everybody's dancing on stage, so it's probably one of the most lively musicals when it comes to musical numbers um, and i really like the orchestra i always like the prologue part of this musical and beauty and the beast was also was also where margaret and i started dating mm -hmm. i found beauty and the beast to be a phenomenal musical with fantastic music phenomenal costumes and characters the sets are amazing, the story is emotional and phenomenal, and the beat, and of course, like, the music is just very, very good. Oh, yes, it, it is. Um, I find this musical, um, just to be very lively, the songs are great. It's also a very fun musical to, to do, but probably one of the most challenging musicals to do acting and music-wise. And with Beauty and the Beast, it's a Broadway musical. I would rate Beauty and the Beast on Broadway 10 Tony Awards out of 10. What about you, Margaret? Oh, that, that's a great rating. I, I would definitely rate it out of 10 out of 10 and, and maybe more because it's just one of my most favorite uh, Broadway musicals. This is Zach and Margaret signing, signing out. out.